Hello and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review with me, Elvis. I've got here from the Fordham's Brewery in America. Um, I would say the state, but um, uh, Delaware. Um, I, I'm very unfamiliar with the states in America, so I do apologise for my um, stupidity on them. But um, it's their Copperhead, anyway, from Fordham's. Fordham Brewing Company, I believe. I picked this up from the little beer shop in uh, Bradford-on-Avon in Wiltshire, which the name escapes me. Um, American Craft Ale, it says on there. Really looking forward to trying this. 335 mils, 5.2% ABV. Um, I, I, I want to try as many American beers as I can because I believe they, their beers are just fantastic. They're craft beers. Oh, that's a tight crown. Wow, that's really... Yeah. A little bit of discoloration on the top of their bottle there, but I, it's, it's outside. Oh, it was a twist top. <laughs> oh, what a waste. I've always wanted to use one of these twist tops and... I could have done, never mind. Anyway, there's the um, crown there. I'm sorry to anyone watching in America. In Great Britain, we're just not used to twist top crowns. We just, nobody uses them over here. Um, right, I'm gonna pour it in the wine glass because it's quite, quite good for these sort of size bottles. Um, you tend to get a good nose in as well. I don't know whether it's bottle conditioned. Um, Yes, it is. It is bottle conditioned. I haven't read the bottle. Um, I should have shown you um, what's on it, but I'll show you later after I get the um, get the nose. Well, that's well, it's copper in colour, like it says, copperhead, copper in colour. It's, it's not that clear, but I mean that doesn't bother me. Um, and like I say, it is bottle conditioned, so you do expect a bit of um, sediment in the beer, which is fine. Tiny bit of carbonation in there. A one and a half finger or one finger just off white newspaper coloured head, nice and foamy. Let's get a nose in. Oh, that smells beautiful. Again, sort of um, pale crystal malts in there. Lovely, sweet, and malty. Um, it's not a not really a bubblegum smell, but it's kind of a... It smells almost like a wheat beer. It, it, there's probably some wheat in there. It does smell that sort of, that sort of aroma. It smells... It's, it's, very, it's a very sweet smell. Sweet and fruity. Malty. Um, I got a feeling it is a wheat beer. That's why it's got the sediment in there. I'm guessing now. I haven't read the bottle. I will show it to you later. Um, sweet, malty, and characteristics of a wheat beer. Even a very slight bit of banana in there. I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everyone. Mm, definitely. Oh, it's it's very it is very fruity, very fruity. You're getting a lovely bit of malt in there. It's it's yeasty. It's. It's not very defined flavours, I couldn't really pick out exactly what's in there, but it's a very, it's a very easy drinking beer as well. Um, I'll fire the rest in, and then I'll, I'll have a little read, and a, um, I'll show you the bottle first, actually. That's what's on the back there. Um... There we go, hopefully you've got that. Very lightweight bottle, very lightweight. Um, Fordham's flagship beer is our interpretation of the Dusseldorf style alt beer. Uh, Caramelised malted barley gives this beer a unique copper hue. Copperhead is perfectly hopped to provide its signature flavour. This ale is known this is this ale is known for. An ideal accompaniment to any light meat, fish or cheese dish. 
so chilled. Um, this, uh, hmm. www.fordhambeers.co.uk That's weird. Bottled and brewed by Ford and Brewing Co. Co Company, Dover, Delaware, USA. Must be, well, it's obviously imported and with his brewed and bottled in America, that's good enough for me. So it is a true American beer. It's not um, franchised out to a, a British company, British brewery, which sometimes they do. I thought I showed you the bottle perfectly there at the start of the, but there it is anyway. Lovely looking bottle. Um, right. It's just a lovely, good fruity beer. You could be mistaken. This could be mistaken for an English sort of, um, like a not so much a bitter, but a nice sessionable British beer. This could be. It's fantastic. It's very easy drinking. It's very light. It's not the sort of beer you'd expect to be in such a small bottle. But it makes it interesting for reviewing purposes um, because I can have another one, <laughs> basically. Um, I really like it. It's, it's, not, it's not overly exciting. Um, it's not something I'd rush out to get again, but it's just, a, it's just an interesting, uh, nice interesting beer. It's definitely worth a try if you want to see what the Americans can do. Anybody who says that Americans can't brew, I mean a lot of camera people, um, I'm, not, I'm not having a go at camera people at all, but um, a lot of camera people think that American craft brewers don't know what they're talking about and, and I have to say anyone who thinks that is completely wrong because the Americans make some fantastic beer. Um, but but this, is, um, this, is, this is a really nice um, beer, <laughs> basically. Um, it's not going to knock your socks off, but it's just a nice beer, nice drink. Um, I didn't pay too much for it anyway, so I, I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to start paying three pound a bottle for it. But I think this cost me about one ninety five, which is fine. Um, that's going to get um, get a six out of ten from me. It's a nice beer. It's just a good little little beer to session with. Like I say, it won't knock your socks off. Um, so yeah. Um, but I'd be interested to try some more for them anyway. So thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box and hopefully you join me again soon on another review. Cheers.